Turning now to our next weather forecast, taking a live look tonight over Center City, Philadelphia. Much darker picture than we've been used to seeing with the end of daylight saving time. Look at those lights. So that's a good picture. It's yeah, a great picture. Very great pretty. Picture. But look, the sky is like pitch black. It's pitch mm. black. Yeah, the sun's been down for well over an hour now, and it's not going to rise yeah. uh, until the five o'clock. Well, in fact, take a look at this. I put together a, a graphic for you, although the graphic is much brighter than the yeah. actual thing that's going on Aww. outside. I know, right? Uh, <laughs> 4:53 is our sunset tonight. It's set at five o'clock. Mm. Not until January 5th, which is 70 days, by the way, from mm. today. But six o'clock. Here we are, the six o'clock show. The sun will set at six o'clock on March 7th. That's 122 days from now. Okay. Am I bringing good news on Monday or is that a downer? Yeah. March Madness. Oh, That's yeah. what I'm thinking of. There you March go. March Madness. Come on now. And also, guys, just a few days after that, we get daylight saving time to return. So the sun will set at like, you know, 7.03 or something like that. So, hey, it's right around the corner as it is every uh, all this time every year. Outside now, you saw the beautiful skyline here of Center City. Look at the temperatures. We're in the mid-50s around most places. A little cooler for you folks in Doylestown at 50 degrees. But we're not going to move these numbers much over the next few hours. We'll keep it in these mid-50s right through 9, 10 o'clock tonight. We have some clouds on the increase, but you can leave the umbrella at home. We are not expecting rain in our area for the evening hours. There is a weather system that is up to the north, and this is actually bringing a few thunderbolts here just around the... Uh, PA nor, uh, New York border there, but for us, clouds are thickening up and they'll continue to do that. And that's why our temperature is going to kind of hold where it is. But like I said, evening forecasts were dry. Freshly updated future casts. I pause this at 11 o'clock. I'm speaking to you folks that are watching from our far northern zones around the Poconos, perhaps the Lehigh Valley. I'll pause this at 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. You could see a stray light shower roll through. I mean, again, in our far northern areas, nearly everyone within our viewing region, the sound of my voice here, you're going to be dry tonight, but those clouds will thicken up and then out the door tomorrow morning at seven o'clock, it's not much cooler than it is right now. We're expecting mid fifties, which for this time of year is way up there for the low. We should be in the low forties and it will keep it cloudy through at least the morning through two, three o'clock in the afternoon. And then skies clear and we do get some sunshine tomorrow in the afternoon and our temperatures are going up. We're going back into the seventies tomorrow before a cold front sweeps through. And that will knock our temperatures down as we get into uh, later on, well, Wednesday. So the temperatures are going to bounce around. But your voting day looks like this. 55, as I mentioned, mostly cloudy skies out the door at 7 o'clock. 61 degrees at 10 o'clock. We'll say 67 at 1, despite the clouds, a very, very mild day. We go to 68 degrees at 4 o'clock with that sunshine. High temperature tomorrow, topping out somewhere in the 70 to 71 degree range for your day tomorrow. So a big difference. Then the cold front sweeps through, and on Wednesday, we have a, the potential for a few late evening showers into Thursday, but the high temperature back into the 50s, so it's different wardrobe every day, jumping back to upper 60s by Thursday before we get some more showers and back to the 50s for Friday and the end of the week. But not much in the way of rain this week. Hmm. We'll keep a close eye on it. Guys, over to you. My man. Thank you, sir.